Buenas tardes, how are you guys doing? So, as you guys can tell in the title, I am going to be doing kind of like a part two of this whole Instacart series just because I feel like the first video I did wasn't as informative and I feel like there is a few of you guys that are actually interested of wanting to like know and kind of learn the process so like yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and basically bring you guys along and show you guys how it all kind of works I guess you could say hopefully this video isn't too all over the place but we'll give it a shot we'll give it a try let's see how it goes ya agarramos nuestro primer orden so this first order this person ordered 10 items there are 17 units I'm already here at the store which is the sprouts that I'm usually nearby at. I'm actually surprised I got this one but I was passing by we're gonna go ahead and do this order and I'll show you guys the process Okay, I'm in the store. This is how it looks. And I'm gonna go ahead and do start order. All right, so basically this is how it looks like. It's a to-do, and this is all the items I have to get. And then there's a time like on the bottom, so I have to like plan my route. <laughs> but let's go ahead and do produce first. So the first item is Sprouts Baby Carrots. There they are, so I'm gonna grab this. Now when you grab the item, you basically have to click on the item and put found item. Oh, and then it basically goes under your gun. Right here. And then we just move on to the next item, which is two organic blueberries. They're right here, the organic blueberries. And I need two of those. So I found the item and I just put the quantity that I need, which is two. And I grabbed the two. Now they are asking for this, so I found item. This time it's actually asking me to scan the item, so let's see. I'm gonna scan it. That's the barcode. And it found the item. I'm in the chip aisle. I found the chips, which are these. And let's go right ahead and scan it. Six brown cow. So in this case, they only have one item and they are asking for six of those. Oh my God, it's not focusing. They need six of those and there's only one. So I'm basically gonna do, I can't find. And the first one that they are actually down for is the vanilla. So it seems like they do have vanilla. So we'll get six of those instead. There was actually only five vanilla and one cherry vanilla. I ended up messaging the customer, as you can tell, or whatever, and I told them the situation. So now I just have to wait. In the meantime, let's grab the other stuff while they reply. Moving on with the next one, we're gonna get the brown cow, the big yogurt, which is right here. And they do not, okay, I have to look to see if there's vanilla. There was vanilla. I just had to literally go through the whole section. She still has a message back. If she doesn't message back, I'm literally just gonna do it that way because I feel like that's the most reasonable thing, so. Yeah. A veces me da vergüenza preguntar, pero les pregunté because I couldn't find a specific item. And they're right in my face. Ooh. Gonna get one of these. Now I'm in the bakery and they want a pumpkin pie. So they want fresh mozzarella, but the only thing is that there is nothing. There's only this one, which is a snack, and it doesn't seem like they want that. You can see there's nothing. That's why I put can't find item, and then I can't find the other item that they want. It's like pearls. There's none of that. Can't find that. None of these work. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take a picture of the section so she could see. Gonna press continue and it's gonna have her basically send a message to her and hopefully she responds because the first message she didn't respond to either so now we just need to get the chicken this is what happens when you don't look good they have them all here pero le pregunté y dijo que no mentiroso tienen el pollo and they want two of those 
So let's go ahead and select a really nice fresh one. Wow. And now she officially responded back about the yogurts. She says she signed with the yogurt. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically scan like if it's one item and then add five additional items, which would be the vanillas. So I have the cherry vanilla. I'm going to scan that I found it, but that there's only one. And then I'm going to add a new item. Oh, shoot. No. And it's going to be the vanilla yogurt for five. Perfect. I had to run to my car because I forgot the card. I'm going to go ahead and start the checkout. No joke, y'all. Sometimes it's stressful, like, recording and filming this while checking out because literally all you feel is pressure from people behind, like, okay, bitch, hurry the fuck up. Nobody cares what you're doing. I'm trying to get out of here. So I generally felt that. <laughs> and I got really anxious. So the good thing the cashier was actually really nice about it. So let's go ahead and baggage everything up into the trunk. tell you that you already basically paid once you do that you're gonna press done put next enter information and now we're gonna scan the receipt so let's scan that and submit press next how many bags I have three bags I'm fucking sweating y'all next I confirm that I have the receipt and then I'm going to start driving. Ya llegué a dejar los cosas. So voy a confirmar. I'm going to confirm the number, which is 6401. It's right there on the house. And it says to meet them at the store to leave. Yeah, to leave it at the door. So I'll be right back. Y eso sería la primer orden. Okay, so I ended up getting another order and I actually got two orders in one. It's kind of crazy, but I got a Staples order for two items and then while I was on my way to Staples, I got another order for 23 items at Costco, which is across the street, for another $60. So we're going to hurry up and get this order done. Um, I'm going to try to record as much as possible, but I know this is going to be hectic, but I'm going to at least record the Staples one, a little montage moment. Now oh, they wanted the inserts. It's actually these. Let's go ahead and find printer paper. I got the box. And the papers. So this time at the store at the checkout, I actually, they had to scan this barcode. And then I press done, press next, enter information. Same thing as the first one. And there's no bags, it's just a box. Confirm that I have my receipt. And now, let's go to Costco. I'm doing Costco. I literally got the big ass cart, just because I feel like it's easier. And less stressful first thing they want alcohol bitch so they want one of the coronas or the crown royal whiskey here it is wow they only wanted one and then we're gonna go ahead and scan place in the car and now let's go to produce not much on produce but We'll see how it goes. And then that, guys, I was doing the order, but it got so stressful that it ended up being all of this that I had to put down my seat. And I still have this stuff here. Like, girl, I am sweating like fucking crazy, but it's okay. This order is sixty dollars. <laughs> I didn't realize Costco could be expensive. The order was like $400 worth of fucking groceries. <sighs> Let's enter the information. Oh my gosh. Ando sudando como pinche vaca. Pidiendo pinche puerca, dude. I'm gonna go ahead and start the order and drop off the Staples order and then the Costco order. So it's gonna be a fun drive, fun time to relax and start sweating. 
So I dropped off the first order and it ended up being a hotel. So I guess they needed papers, so I want to drop it off. And now I'm on my way to drop off the second order, which is a Costco order. And it seems like it's going to be a house, hopefully not an apartment, because bitch, I can't do that. Ya llegué para dejar el orden. I already arrived, so I'm just going to drop off the stuff and I'll be back. So this is gonna be my last order of the day. I'm low-key kind of tired and I think Ellen and Danny are here I think they're here at the store too, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and do this last order It has alcohol like in the other one. So three items very easy So I'm here at the wine section because they wanted a wine. So I'm gonna get a Carnet Savion <laughs> So it was right in my face. It's gonna be this one. I'm gonna go right and scan it. And it was that one. And then a peanut grigio. Ooh, they're gonna be right here. And then I need to get wipes, but I'm actually going to also get a wine for the podcast because we're filming later today. Um, so, yeah, let's get like a red blend. I don't know. We'll see. So the person wanted wanted uh, flushable wipes. So let's go ahead and scan that. That's one. And I ended up picking up the wine for the podcast. So if you want to know what wine I ended up choosing, go there and you'll see. Por fin terminé el pinche orden. Uh, Loki, that one was kind of stressful only because there was a mix up with the address and it was the one that was next door and I thought, or, well, I thought it was somewhere else. But anyways, point is, I was able to get the order, scan their ID. She said she was going to tip me really good, so I appreciate her. Thank you so much. And she was like, I'm so sorry. Like, it's just this community is so confused. And I'm like, don't even worry about it. Like... That's what Instacart people have to do, you know, like, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, other than that, this is basically the total amount that I ended up making out of today. I ended up doing, what, three orders? Basically four, because one order, there was two already included. Well, you know what I mean. But other than that, I made a decent amount, and that's basically just a little, like, you know, glimpse of how to use the app and how it technically works so hopefully this helped out a little bit more for you guys that are interested but of course if you guys want to try out instacart go right ahead and click the link down below in the description it will be all down there and everything else but other than that bye